Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. So this is part of another pair of games versus Awesome 4. This time we're using light English Civil War armies. In this match I have the Royalist 1645 versus his new model army 1646. So later on uh, the Royalist infantry has gotten better and Parliament's cavalry has also gotten better, although there isn't parity in either case. In terms of deployment, I have this nice open stretch with woods. Unfortunately, also under this giant hill. Uh, uh, awesome 4 has all these nice hedges, but he'll probably move forward to occupy this hill. So the question is, how do I deploy to counter that? Well, for one thing, I'm going to grab separately deployed musketeers. And veteran musketeers for the forests, I think. Shot with a few pike, yes please. Uh, they're functionally identical to pike and shot, except they have more muskets. So they're a little bit more expensive too. Uh, we'll grab regular pike and shot. Do I want terrible short of muskets units or veterans? Hmm. Think about that. For cavalry, I have four cavaliers and four veteran cavaliers. It's eight units, I think that's probably enough. Lights, I have access to commanded shot and dragoons. I don't know if I care to bring either to the field, to be honest. I think I will bring my maximum of non-light infantry, and then that leaves me with 102 points remaining. I'll grab dragoons. Light guns. No. Dragoons and one more unit of cavaliers. And that'll do. Right. Deployment then. Well, musketeers to the right. Dragoons to the left. And early Royalist Pike and Shot. I'll have my most terrible units near the support of the Musketeers so that their lack of firepower doesn't affect us too badly. Cavaliers, Cavaliers. Veterans in a big block. Maybe one more, and then two units in reserve to plug gaps or exploit disruptions. Simple. Next turn. How does he deploy? Dragoons to the forest, we can counter those nicely. lot of foot here, so we might fall back on the left, especially with those guns and cavalry. Yeah, we'll withdraw on the left and push forward on the right. Shift R. Cavaliers over as well. Maybe they can see some action. I'll send one unit of veterans over in addition. We'll look as if we're going to form up for an assault so he continues to push here. But then we will withdraw and shift right with our infantry. Next turn. Send our greetings.
right then fire and fire might hold the veterans in reserve until he's a little bit closer in the meantime get our lights up here into this wood face forward so that we can start falling back in an orderly manner and once this cavalry wing is ready, we'll push them forward with musketeer support. Next turn. Great, and we will push these musketeers up. and avoid contact where we are weak. We'll try to slip some dragoons behind and take out these guns if we can. So basically, we'll attempt to make cavalry contact here, have our musketeers for the forest tear up his left wing, and avoid contact on our own left wing. Next turn. And we'll continue to withdraw this left wing. Our regular Cavaliers will have a tough time against the veterans, but we have our own veterans on the way. So hopefully we can shoot up this wing and not get too badly shot up on our own left wing. In the meantime, it can start being extremely annoying. Next turn. Good start.
Well, this is kind of unfortunate for our cavalry, but we've got to throw them in. It's more important that the musketeers stay alive. Start. Take the hit. And withdraw. Maybe force this infantry unit to turn around and fire, and then we can scuttle away. All right, looking kind of tough. Got a couple disruptions, but I don't know. Are we outnumbered in infantry? 15 to 15, so no, it's even, although some of ours are raw or short of muskets, and I think that's why I'm feeling nervous. Next turn. Great, now both of these units are disrupted. Hmm. I was hoping this right flank would do all the heavy lifting. It does not appear likely at the moment. It helps a little bit. So the enemy's veterans are sort of between above average and superior, so they're only at plus 12 instead of plus 25 POA. Hmm. So impact mounted versus non-superior pistol impact, we're at plus 100. In the meantime, do we pile in there? Or do we work around? Maybe I'll just try to ignore this cavalry action. Think about that.
might be worth pushing for a charge in this sector. Let's try for it. Maybe not. Damn, I was hoping for at least one disruption there. Well, our cavalry have neutralized one another. It's looking pretty tough for my infantry. So last decision, does this cavalry move to intervene in the infantry battle or does it move to assist in the cavalry action? I think we'll ignore the cavalry action and try to push one unit around. Next turn. Our first disruption on that end. Oh, that's too bad. Take some fire for us. Chase them. Oh, I was hoping to get past. All right. Here's for impact. No luck. Hoping to break them with that very well.
don't think our cavalry is winning this war. I don't, I was going to say quickly enough, but I don't think they're winning at all, really. Infantry is starting to cave in. Next turn. I think we should have shifted our mass musketeers out of the forest last turn. We don't have time to be screwing around with long range musketry, we need to get in. this right wing of horse. Good. How long till they stop pursuing is the question there. The Cavaliers have a tendency to pursue more than Parliament's horse does. Ah, that could be helpful. Alright, we are done screwing around. Step out and fire. Hoping to break this unit. There we go. They all held firm. That's really unfortunate. Get some close range fire in. Good on disruption. In that case. <sighs> Lock them in. They'll just have to stand and die, but it'll give our musketeers time to fire. Next turn. That is helpful. break this unit, they might pursue in the right direction if we're lucky. We'll see. Uh, still pursuing. Oh, uh, just stop. Firm, despite all that. Oh, we have a win? How does that even happen? 
Well, that's not how it happens. Pursuing the wrong direction. Okay, um, unexpected. I guess the plan kind of worked. I mean, the plan had been for the cavalry to win and close in, and they won on the left and did not close in because they were too busy running off. And it's kind of a draw on the right. But the part of the plan that did work was these royalist musketeers, including veteran musketeers, hiding in the forest and just pouring lead out and just causing severe casualties and damage on his left wing. And we held out long enough on our own left wing. It was about to continue to get messy though, so I think we kind of lucked out having it end when it did. So good game to Awesome 4, as always. And until next time.